Alright, so I don't know if I said this before. Um, I'm pretty sure I said it in something that you're about to watch. Uh, but this is not a permanent fix. This is just to get you by. This is just to, you know, um, do what you need to do in order to do the right thing. So this isn't the how to end all guide of how to fiberglass. This is just how to temporarily repair. Sorry for the crazy camera. This is just how to temporarily repair the tub. Um, because this is not the 100% correct way to do it. It's just a method that will get you by until you can, you know, save up the pennies and, you know, all that stuff to, uh, to purchase the tub. And people are laughing downstairs. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, Let's get to it. It'll be my regular intro after this. What is up everybody? Blue Dog 35 here. This is a tub and that's a crack. It's a pretty nasty one too. So, I am going to show you how to temporarily fix this. This is not a permanent fix. This is just a temporary fix. Of course you could go the duct tape route and that would be simple and that would be cheap and that would be somewhat effective but uh, the home that I live in has uh, three semi-large people, myself being the largest, and I mean fat, you've seen me. <laughs> um, and uh, this will just get larger and larger and larger and larger as it progresses and as it builds and, you know, gets older and older and older. So uh, I'm going to show you what you need to fix it, and it's under, I'd say under 25 to, you know, 100. Here's the receipt from Ace. 22, 23, plus a few other things. So, we have a pair of scissors. Everybody's got those. Uh, fiberglass mat. This is made by Bondo. And the uh, fiberglass resin to go with it. This is, uh, you can use this. It's a wire brush or um, some sandpaper. I just have a wire brush and I don't really know where my sandpaper is. It's in the garage and I don't feel like going out to get it. Uh, I got this for a dollar at the dollar store a few uh, a few weeks ago. You need something to pour the resin into to mix it. So this is just a dollar dollar store paint thing and a couple cheap paint brushes. So that's what you need. So I'm going to show you how to do. First of all, I want to apologize for the terrible camera angles and the uh, the shadow play, I guess, uh, because. I don't really have any other light in here. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire brush. And just kind of rough up the surface. That you are going to put the, uh, the fiberglass mat on. can also do this with uh, sandpaper. So now that that's good, what you want to do is you want to take your fiberglass mat, which I have here. Be careful with this because this stuff will stick to you and it's kind of a pain to uh, get off you. <clears throat> this is an eight foot sheet. It's eight square foot, so it's four foot by four foot. <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're going to take, find where it's one layer thick, like this, and you're going to cut a piece. Um, Alright, so see how the crack goes, you know, from here to here. You're going to go a couple inches beyond it, maybe, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half to two inches beyond it. Um, that's at least how I've done it. Uh, it may not be the actual proper way to do it, but that's how I've done this in the past because I have dealt with uh, cracked tubs before. My mom's old apartment had one, so. Um, you go about an inch, inch and a half beyond it, and you're gonna cut out your patch first. So I usually do two to three layers, so I'm gonna cut out two to three patches that are an inch, inch and a half wider than on each end and an inch inch and a half longer 
All right, so I am back with my patch. This is it right here. It's a little bit bigger than it needs to be, but with fiberglassing, you would much rather be larger than, uh, you know, smaller. You you don't want to have a whole bunch of crap over top of it. So here it is right here. This is the first one, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the second one. So now it is time to pour the resin into our container here. So what you do is you estimate how much you're going to need and then you pour it into a clean container. So I'm just going to do this here. Actually, you know what, I'm going to turn this thing around because the tub swoops this way. And you pour what you think you need. So that's about half the container right there that I just poured. By the way, you should be doing this in a, an extremely ventilated area. I don't have that luxury because we do not have a fan or a window here. Um, the rule of thumb is uh, 10 drops of hardener per, uh, I believe it's well, there's a little hole in that, I think. Um, or do you just... What the hell? Huh. Okay, so I need to poke a hole in this. I will be back in a moment. Alright, pardon the omission. I am back. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, I'm going to put 25, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Probably was not nearly enough, but I don't really care. So you're going to want to mix this together fairly thoroughly, and by fairly I mean, you know, quite. Um, I'm just hoping that uh, this paint tray actually holds the resin because I know that there may or may not be some sort of chemical reaction. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some more hardener in this. I don't really feel that great about it. There we go. Yeah, that's about half the hardener, so... take the camera, move it over here to the crack, and what you're going to do is you're going to load up the brush with resin, and you're going to paint over the crack with the resin. You don't have to do it a whole bunch. This is just to give... Nah, shit. Friggin' handle fell into the resin. Yay! This is just to give the fiberglass something to hang on to. So then you put the fiberglass over and tamp it down. Try not to get it on your fingers because it is a pain in the ass. But then you just kind of do this and mat it down. Load up the brush and mat it down. This is not intended to be a permanent fix, as I believe I said in the beginning. <clears throat> this is meant to get you by until you can hire someone or, you know, actually afford to replace the tub or repair it, you know, the right way. This is just an extremely temporary fix. <clears throat> the 
this is not the 100% uh, end all fix all everything unfortunately as much as I would like it to be so you basically tamp this down because the goal is to get the uh, resin epoxy whatever to soak through the fiberglass and bond with the plastic of the tub and resin does bond with a lot of stuff so it's good so we've got that pretty much down then just want to skim over it a little it'll be tacking up becoming harder put some more on there pretty much the more resin you use the stronger the uh, repair will be because the fiberglass is just what holds the resin in place so you also want to be careful not to displace the fiberglass mat but you also want to focus around the areas of you know the crack so I am going to stop recording I'm gonna let that sit and close the door so I don't get friggin high off the fumes I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the second um, the second layer and I will record that. Alright, so it's about uh, two and a half, three hours later. Um, I have not put the second coat on. I am actually going to uh, take a break here. Um, I just came back to check it. Uh, I got the fan going, and then um, the epoxy that's actually in the uh, thing here is all hard but in the center there it's still tacky and uh, what I want to do is let it actually uh, semi cure so I can repeat the process kind of score it a little bit and there's my phone uh, vibrating I just use it for the, the light down here um, and uh, I want to let it semi cure I'm gonna take the uh, the wire brush there and score it a little bit when it's hard uh, so that the second coat of epoxy or second coat of resin, whatever you call it, uh, will take. Um, it'll take either way, but still I want to be double sure. Uh, that's the second patch. It's a little bit smaller than the first one. Um, and I may even, uh, I have two little patches over here. Um, I may just incorporate those into the um, second patch, depending on severity, I might just put it, uh, you know, right over that part right there, where it's the, uh, where the crack is the thickest. So, uh, I'm gonna get out of this fumey room with the door closed, <laughs> uh, because I'm starting to get a headache again, and, uh, I'm gonna come back to this probably in the morning, uh, cause it is 10.22 in the night. And PM, so uh, I'm gonna go lay down for a nap, and I'll come back to this. So, see you then. All right, so we are back. It's actually the following day or night, evening, whatever. Uh, once again, I apologize for the horrible lighting. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to place my cellular phone on airplane mode here so I don't get any notifications and turn the light on and then place it on this here shelf probably what I should have done to begin with but hopefully that will provide a little bit of extra lighting not crazy but hey it works a little bit um, so it's the following day um, I have the uh, fiberglass is hard and it's not fully cured but it's hard <coughs> I'm just gonna kind of 
score the surface a little, like I did with the uh, the PVC slash whatever the hell this is of the tub. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, just, you know, kind of to rough it up a little. <clears throat> I'm going to use the rest of this, 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 this here epoxy. So, we'll rotate the camera. <clears throat> just going to pour it right in. If you hear any background noise, which sounds like TV or something, uh, that's because my roommate's mother, Doug, uh, well, <laughs> her name isn't Doug, but my roommate Doug's mother is uh, watching television downstairs with his grandmother. So um, the TV sound might bleed through a little. Ah, you almost had a major malfunction here. We uh, narrowly avoided catastrophe. So I'm going to grab the other brush I have. <clears throat> We're going to take the hardener here, ladies. And we're just going to kind of chooch it all in there. Now this is going to set up fast because there's a whole mess of hardener, so I'm going to mix it up right. We're going to take the other piece of fiberglass that I cut yesterday. We're going to chooch this right quick on here. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just doing the same thing. So here we go. We're gonna get this guy squared up the right way. What for making that on? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm uh, channeling my inner uh, AVE guy's awesome. I'll link him in the description because uh, he shows how to do all kinds of crazy shit. He's a crazy Canadian. He's actually got some sort of degree in science and electromechanics and all that crap. He's actually uh, really neat. But if you're into, you know, nerdy shit like I am, pardon my language, and he's got quite the mouth on him too. But if you're into nerdy stuff like me, then, uh, You'll get a kick out of his channel. And once again, this uh, this is not the, you know, end-all, fix-all way to do this because there are, I am by no means a professional fiberglass, uh, fiberglasser. Um, I just have experience. And what little of it I have, I make do with. So, we're going to get these on over here. Got to kind of be a little quick because that was a lot of uh, hardener that I put in. So, it's going to set up relatively quick. But, once I do this... Um, we'll have two layers of the fiberglass <clears throat> and uh, it'll be good and I'm actually going to put um, believe it or not I'm gonna put three layers possibly yeah I'm gonna put three layers over the really big part of the crack here Um, but that's, uh, that's just because I can. So it's starting to sit. I can feel it. 
So we're gonna put this down right here, like so. And then we're gonna take this here other piece. I'm actually gonna cut a small piece off it. <clears throat> there we go, it's a bit smaller. And we're gonna put that on. <clears throat> Take the same approach, because we have a whole bunch of resin. We can just dab, dab, dab it through. It's always good to load up the brush with resin though. I'm going to go ahead and get another bit to choo choo on there. <clears throat> Doesn't sound very healthy, but I assure you, everything that is happening is the right thing. And I'm sorry about the lighting once again and my fat hand in the way and visibility issues and all that crap. That's why I'm trying to do my best to explain what's going on. So we're just going to try smoothing this out a little. And we just try to get out all the blemishes and we try to fill in the most what we can in the uh, the crack there and it looks good to me uh, it's not the greatest but it looks good to me so I'm going to pick the camera up here and we're going to zoom in it's fairly thick but it's got a whole uh, semi dried layer and yeah so We'll come back in a little bit after it's hard and uh, I'll do an update so I'm going to edit this here video together and then uh, there'll be a part two so it'll be a results video. So uh, if you like this video, if it helped, uh, feel free to like, rate, subscribe, uh, comment, whatever, blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, check out the links in the description and I will, uh, I'll post a link to all the stuff that I had to buy and um, you know, all the stuff that helped in, uh, Mr. AVE's channel, because, uh, he's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.